Let's change color of some string in the text in this video. We have a text with text mesh row. Must reset it to white color. We will change the color of characters hero only. First, let's change color of the first line to black color. We will use tag like HTML and CSS to change color in the text. And we need a close tag to tell where to stop the changing. Let's try to use the tag I. If you don't add the close tag, it will affect on the remaining text. Let's add a close tag to tell where to stop the changing. Now, try to change the color of character's hero. Use tag color equal blue to change its color to blue. You can use the hex code color to pick many more colors. Choose any color you like. Paste it after bow, this color will be applied. Next, let's try on this CS task in the stream to see if it works. Create an object to contain visual written events. Add new visual scripting script. Name it event or any names you want. After click the button, apply a string to our text. Let's use the button right enter. After button enter is click, change text of object read west. If this is your first time you use text mesh row in your project. You need to add text mesh row to visual scripting notes. Scroll down, click on plus icon, type in text mesh row. Then scroll up. We need to add text mesh row type here too. We are using text mesh row UGUI on UI Canvas now. But you should add text mesh row for 3D game view too. Next, click on regenerate nodes to add it to visual scripting nodes. Now you can use it on visual scripting. To apply new text to it, search for set text. Let's try to change its text to Hello World. It worked. Now copy all the text we modified with CSS tag and change the initial text to Hello. We will copy that text to a string to test how it works in a string. After button enter is clicked, add a quest text to our object. The colors worked well, but the light press didn't work in a string. Open our script to fix it. To add a light break in a string, use tag br. Let's add it at the end of every line. Press play and try it again. 
it works very well now. Next video, I will show you how to add icons into a text or string. Please like and subscribe my channel to get more tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you in next video.